Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're back at Downtown Disney. We haven't been here in like over a week and I actually miss this place. Uh, I can't wait to walk around and see what's new. Today is Tuesday, which means it should be pin release day. So we should be seeing a couple new pins. And I saw yesterday on my friend's uh, Instagram account, his name is Disney Hypebeast, that uh, they released this pretty cool soap dispenser. It dispenses foam Mickeys, which is awesome. So I hope we can find one today and pick one of those up. But anyways, I think we're gonna walk toward World of Disney and then we'll work our way back and like hit the other stories on the way back. But check out the old AMC building. They put up these new Avengers Campus banners. You got Black Panther, Iron Man. And then over here at the actual like ticket booth, they put up the Avenger logo. Avengers Campus, Disney California Adventure. Looks good. I like it. So like I mentioned, I haven't been here in a while. So going through security was a little strange because none of them were wearing masks. And then they got rid of the plexiglass too. So I'm happy to see that though. I'm glad they're not like, you know, out here in the heat wearing masks. I think only the cast members in the doors have to wear masks. But I mean, you know, they have AC at least. But anyways, I haven't shown you guys the, uh, the old void building in a while. But this is how it currently looks. It doesn't seem like anything's going on yet. I don't hear any construction noises or anything. There's no signs, nothing. But but I'll keep updating you guys on this. So you can barely see it, but it looks like they do have that uh, watermelon cupcake I was telling you guys about. It's available as of yesterday to the 11th. It's called the Watermelon Mojito. So once they open up, I think we'll come back and grab one of these. So we're finally gonna check out World of Disney. It looks like you can now enter through any exit or entrance. So this used to be the exit. Now it's both, and then the one at the end, same thing. But I think, we're going to go through the other side just because I'm used to entering through there and exiting through here. You can even uh, exit or enter to the middle section too. So as soon as you walk into World of Disney, it looks like they still have tons of that Americana merch. If you guys were looking for any of those, they even have masks still and the ornament with Mickey and Minnie. And over here in the Nuimo section, it looks like they have a new summer fashion collection. So they have this one. $12.99. They have this one. This looks like a dumbbell or something. <laughs> These are the, the ones with the black back are usually $12.99. They have this one with the golf club and the visor. That's pretty cool. And they have this one for like the lady Nuimos. Then they have the university trends. This was nice because of the backpack. I actually like the backpack. And I have this one. This one with the purse. <laughs> and then the corduroy overalls. Oh, check out this new lounge fly bag. There's a bunch of ears on it for a good reason. You can actually hold a pair of ears inside this backpack. See, so you'd put a pair of ears in here. Hold it securely, then you zip it up a little bit. Um, I'll try putting some ears in there so you can so you guys can see what it looks like. But let me go give you guys a quick look around the bag. This bag is $75. Oh, it even gives you instructions on how to mount the ears. And then let me show you the lining inside, and then we'll try putting a pair of ears in there. So it looks like the lining inside is pretty simple. It's just turquoise, and then it has like a pair of ears on it. That's still nice. All right, so I'm gonna film Nick. Yes. Uh, We're gonna put some ears in the backpack. There you <laughs> go, yeah. All right, so pretty much there's this first pocket here. Unzip it, and it kind of just slides in there. And there's these two, you see these little- Like straps? Yeah, like straps, yeah. And they go through here. It's probably a better one without bows. And then it connects through there. And that'll pretty much secure the ear. There's another one, but I'll just show you. And then you zip up the side. This is like the faster way. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. There you go. Your ears are pretty much secured from falling out. That's pretty cool. Like, and then like, just walking around with like your ears displaying yeah. like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it evens out. Wow. It actually looks way better with it the ears. It does, yeah. yeah it looks like, a little plain without yeah, the ears. it looks, it gives the bag a lot, like a lot better, better look. Yeah. It's nice. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, for sure. So over here across from the uh, lounge fly bag display, they brought back a lot of the Jungle Cruise merch. Jungle Cruise the Ride should be opening July 16th. And then I think the movie releases later this month as well. So, a lot of Jungle Cruise this month. So over here in the Star Wars section, looks like they have a new child shirt. It's uh, it's called the Expressions of the Child. 
So this is a child sad, happy, serious, curious, confused, and excited. But to be honest, they all look cute to me. <laughs> They're all adorable. Let's check the back. Nothing on the back. Uh, this shirt retails for $24.99. And the sizes are extra small to a 2X. Also over here in the Star Wars section, looks like they got a new spirit jersey. This one is themed to Naboo. It's awesome. So now you have Cloud City, Endor, Tatooine, and Naboo. Let me give you guys a closer look at this one. Yeah, Padme ship right there on the bottom. Here's a look at the front. So Star Wars on the left hand side. This one's really nice. And uh, there's no price on it, but it's a spirit jersey, so I'm sure it's $69.99. So I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Disney High Beast and the cast members that work here at World of Disney because because of them, I was actually able to get one of the soap dispensers. Check it out, it's so awesome. <laughs> so these were only in Japan at one point. Uh, the only way to get one of these was from eBay or if, like you know a reseller or something like that, but but these are really hard to get and I'm glad that they're finally here at World of Disney. Uh, I did get the last one, but they should be restocking soon. Uh, so just keep checking. This retails for $9.99 and honestly I feel like they're giving it away at that point. Like it makes Mickey foams. <laughs> so cool. I wish the sinks were here in downtown Disney still so I can show you guys what it does, but maybe I'll just like try it and just to show you guys like what it does. And then, uh, yeah, just rinse my hand off at the bathroom or something. So I'm going to pay for the self dispenser right now. And then I'm going to show you guys the new pins also while we're here in uh, room five. So here's a look at the new pins for today. Got this one. $19.99. You have this one from the Artfully Evil collection with Yzma on it. This one is $19.99. And then lastly, they have this one from the Glitzy Gear collection. You got Simba on there. And looks like some jewels. This one is $34.99. So we have one more thing to show you guys before we leave World of Disney. They uh, they came out with three new hand fans. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is probably the best one in my opinion. This one is... Oops. It's Donald. It says Moody on there. This one's nice. And then the other fan is Minnie Mouse. That's fabulous. Because that's what she is. <laughs> and the last fan I'm going to show you guys is probably the coolest one. It's probably even too cool if you ask me. <laughs> you got Minnie and Mickey. Looks like Minnie's on a watermelon. And Mickey's on a pineapple? Uh, yeah. Well, they're cool. on like floaties. Yeah. That's they're awesome. Donuts. I wish I could tell you guys the price, but it's not listed. There's nothing on there. There is this $15 price tag, but I think that's for these like Mr. fans. So I'm not really sure, but I want to say maybe like $10, $9.99. I'm not really sure. If you guys are looking for those fans, they have them on this display right here next to the registers in room one. All right, guys, so we ended up leaving World of Disney. Uh, I'm so glad that I was able to get the soap dispenser. Thanks again to everyone who was able to help me to get one. And like I mentioned, they should be restocking soon. That's what one of the cast members told me. Uh, again, just keep checking. They should be there. I did end up getting a price for those, those hand fans. Those are $12.99, in case you guys are wondering. I think right now we're going to go ahead and check out Marcin's Confectionery and see if they have anything new in the display. So here's a look at the display. Looks like they have a new marshmallow one. I think it's pineapple flavored. And if you guys are still looking for the 4th of July one, they still have those as well. They have the watermelon one. They have the 4th of July cake pops. They have a Minnie Mouse with a pink bow now. And this one, this was tipped over so you can see what flavor it is. This one is... It's got a black dot on it, so it's chocolate. And then looks like they have a bunch of the same stuff they had last time as well. Like cake pops, Rice Krispie treats, apples, cookies. And that's basically it. The treats I really want to see from Marceline's is when they finally get the Halloween stuff. I can't wait for that to, to come back. They usually have some pretty cool uh, treats for Halloween, Christmas time. And yeah, looking forward to those. But right now we're outside of uh, Sprinkles Cupcakes. And it looks like they're still closed, sadly. So I think Nick and I are gonna go get breakfast and then we'll probably come back for that cupcake I told you guys about earlier. So me and Nick decided to come over here to Earl the sandwich. He wanted to try the breakfast and I got my usual uh, like chicken bacon sandwich or whatever it's called. But the cool part is you can now eat inside of Earl's sandwich. It's been a while since we've come back here so I had no idea. But this is what the, the dining area looks like. 
So just keep that in mind. If it's kind of hot outside and you're just looking for like an affordable spot to eat at, Earl's Sandwich is definitely a good option. All right, so we just finished our meal over here at Earl's Sandwich. Before we go to uh, Sprinkles Cupcakes, I think I'm gonna show you guys how the, the soap dispenser works. Wow. That's cool. That came out so cool. That's awesome. I'm really glad we bought this. That is so cool. <laughs> I know. I don't know what to do with the soap in my hand though. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm just stuck with it. <laughs> Definitely, if you guys can find one of those Mickey hand soap dispensers, definitely get one because they're so cool. <laughs> but anyways, right now we're about to enter Sprinkles. It finally opened, and we're gonna go ahead and get that new cupcake. All right, so here we have the watermelon mojito cupcake from Sprinkles. This is new. It's available today until the 11th, I believe. Can't wait to try it. It smells really, really good. Let's go ahead and cut into this with a fork. So if you guys are curious, this is just like a watermelon gummy candy. That's actually like really good. Like really good. Wow. <laughs> I know this cupcake sounds a little weird, but it's actually really, really good. It tastes, like I highly recommend it. Like out of five stars, all five stars, my man. Definitely come down here and try it. Cause it, like, seriously, you guys need to try it. <laughs> so I gave some to Nick and he said the same thing. Yeah, it was really good. Really good. Yeah. Like, we're not just saying it. Like no, it was, it's a really good cupcake. It's cupcake. really good. It's, uh, it's pretty watermelon. You could taste the watermelon and the frosting. And yeah, it's a really good cupcake. I like it. Yeah, definitely, like I said, come try it. It's worth it. All right, guys, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.